guys um youtubers thanks for joining me today and uh, thanks for all your support so far on the channel it's been brilliant and if you're just joining us for the first time this is brain bank tv and we're bringing you the roulette bet journal on this um series tracking um evidence um tracking results sorry of um all our spends on the roulette boards on the various roulette boards but this is particularly for the um the specific one on Virgin Games Roulette that I'm doing currently. It's been running for near enough 40 days or so. Um, we're going to see if we can uh, replicate what we've been doing so far. We were sticking to the free spin count, um, but over the last few days I started increasing that due to the fact that some changes will be um, applied to the strategy as a whole um, come the end of the month. So I'm going to be increasing that spin, uh, static spin count to a variable one uh, between 5 and 10 spins come the end of the month. And for me, the best way to sort of get into the grand scheme of things and making sure I get used to what's going on is to start it off on our um, on our test platform where we're using to, to reiterate how well the strategy works or not. So that's what I'm doing on this platform here. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to um, to uh, to take part of that. And hopefully um, we can get anywhere between three and five spins a day. That would be great. If, um, if I see any reasons to stop spinning, then I will. But um, until then, I'll be hoping to get to five spins. But we'll see what we do. Um, so we've got 44, 40 on the balance. I'm just going to switch over and get this done real quick. Um, hopefully we can get the spins done as fast as we can. Um, I'm not sure how the, the long the videos are going to get when I start doing near enough 60 spins a day on, on a platform. I'm not quite sure how that's going to sit. And whether or not I'll do that from work is a different um, story entirely. So we'll, we'll tackle those issues as they arise. As for now, um, we're just going to get straight into it start from the top no wasting time hopefully we can get the five spins done um, <clears throat> well up to five spins done without any issues but so far we've not we've not really had a non last day for a while now um, it's, a, it's a shame really because the, the strategy does work it's something I've been using for a while and as you can see from the records um, that it does work to a certain degree um, how we can tweak, tweak and um, turn that a bit so it favors us a little bit better is a different story entirely and that's what we'll be um, working through through the uh, roulette challenge so do do watch those, epi um, those episodes or that series if you haven't checked that out do check that out do share subscribe and like the content because um, your support is very very valuable to me um, and I want to thank everyone who's subscribed so far. I've gone for 10 and 25 again for the second spin. We'll see if we can get that done. Um, yeah, so um, ideally, those changes will come in at some point between between the 28th and the and the start of the month of next month. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna go about it just yet, but. <laughs> That's, that's what my plans are and um, from my calculations it's not going to be an easy ride because um, you can imagine I'm getting one roughly around one loss every other day um, up until the last few days um, on on a, on a minimum three spins on five platforms so that's 15 spins in total um, compared to the 60 I'm potentially looking to do it's just a big ask in it really um, but yeah, it will come down to how the boards uh, move on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll be honest with you. So if, if I suspect um, that things aren't looking right, I'm not going to attempt to get to 10 spins for that day. Um, I'm just not going to attempt to get to 10 spins for that. But if, if we don't get... Um, if we don't get that, then I can then attempt to do something like that. But yeah, um, we've gone for 9 and 17 for the fourth spin, I believe. Yeah, full spin. Um, we'll see if we can get to that five. That would be great. Um, yesterday, I think we lost on the fifth spin after after the whole the, the whole thing's based on three and losing on a fifth spin isn't great, is it? Um, when you're trying to make these adjustments, but there you go. Things do happen. Um, you can see what's just happened there. I had ten um, not selected on the previous spin, and uh, that's exactly what I just got a minute ago. So for the fifth spin, we've gone two and eighteen. Hopefully it's a smooth ride. I haven't, um, if you notice what I've done, I've just kind of gone with the selection of the favorites from the top down. Um, I, I didn't want to complicate my brain with this today, um, to be honest, because sometimes I get too, 
I get too carried away in what's actually going on at the end of the day you're, you're missing out two numbers it's not very complicated they're both on two different ends of the scale um, so yeah I, I don't know how else to, to put it it shouldn't it shouldn't it should potentially work most times as you can see it does but those losses off if they're ridiculous especially when um, uh, I have this static spins going on but yeah we've got 55 45 40 which would make this a pound one pound in green 45 40 we completed five spins 45 40 this goes in green Not that green. Green. And we did five spins today. So that was a smooth ride. Um, if only it was smooth like that every single day, that would be great, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it's not being but too bad. It's just those losses with those static um, static variable isn't great. Like if you imagine these here, if I had five spins instead, or five to ten spins instead, then there'll be more of a room to, to potentially make a, a little bit more than I would. Right, so that's the idea of what I'm trying to do. The aim of the game is to um, is to get to uh, the aim of the game is to get to uh, at the end of the day and the total spins either um, in profit or at break even. There's no room for me to lose in this thing unless I have those days where you do get multiple losses, two, three losses. You can't do nothing about those. Unfortunately, you just can't do nothing about those. But um, that would be the idea but yeah thanks for um subscribing thanks for watching my my channel um do look out for other content i don't just do stuff on um on um gambling i am a professional um forex trader also um i do trade for a prop firm um although i haven't had a, a decent i haven't got off to a, a good start this year i barely traded this year to be honest with you but um there are a lot more information that i'm willing to put out there for people who um, are willing to, sorry, not willing, but m who are interested in the kind of information I'm putting out, really. So do look out for some more information and um, so for some more content on trading, stock investing, um, uh, football index, uh, and uh, life life as in general, really. Uh, I'll be doing some videos on dropshipping. I, I did run a dropshipping business for a year and a bit. Um, I will be sharing my insight on that, how I went on. Um, where I lost and stuff like that um, so do look out for some more content if you like any of those content share subscribe like um, and um, we'll catch you guys tomorrow thank you for joining me